Some creators are taking over big Hollywood events, while others are selling stained clothes. And Jeff Wittick, well, I guess he was tired of holding back his set from the roast of Bryce Hall and decided to share what was cut out of the show with everyone. We've got a lot to get into, so let's just start in France, because that's where a ton of creators were invited this week, as they attended Cannes Film Festival. Yes, you heard me correct, influencers at Cannes. Just like how influencers have been attending other events such as the Met Gala, the Oscars, the Grammys, the same went for Cannes. All the people I saw in attendance were mostly TikTokers and they were sent by TikTok to create content to promote the event. Now, most of them were just posting them getting ready for the event and like their outfits and stuff and not really anything while they were there, which is interesting. I just want to know what their purpose was because they were invited by TikTok to go and a lot of them were saying to make TikToks and I'm like where are the TikToks though so I'm not hating I'm just wondering like what where the content is because I kind of did want to see it because apparently they were there to promote the event and all I saw was like them getting ready for the event which I guess is promotion in itself but I thought they were gonna like actually show like behind the scenes of people walking the carpet and stuff like that but the only thing that I saw on the carpet was Nikki tutorials, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to talk about this because Nikki was on the red carpet interviewing celebrities as they walked the carpet. And just in case you guys were like, oh my God, like why do they have influencers at Cannes? Like why, why do they have this? Well, it's because celebrities know who people are. Celebrities are on TikTok. Celebrities are on YouTube. They see influencers all the time and they themselves are fangirling over the people that get invited. Eva Longoria literally was fangirling over Nikki tutorials and wants to go on Nikki's channel and do a collab. I, I watch you all the time. Stop it. All the crazy stuff. Like, I'm like, I've got to try that. I mean, it's not your moving and Nikki was freaking out about it I <laughs> I just can't imagine how it feels to see someone that you have grown up seeing as a celebrity and then them to come up to you and be like oh my gosh like I'm gonna be in your channel like what that is a crazy freaking feeling Eva Longoria said she knows who I am yes and she, she said she was a fan it really happened right it, did. it happened and she said she wasn't gonna do a collab with you like is this the real world I I, I I don't think so it happy. is. I don't and think I was is. able to see that moment in front of my own eyes, not in front of the TV. I'm just. So go Nikki. I'm sure that made her day. And clearly TikTok knew what they were doing by inviting her to be on the carpet. Now, aside from influencers getting that opportunity, there are still some influencers who seem like they don't care what anyone thinks about them. And the main person coming to mind is whoever is being talked about in this TikTok right here. This girl purchased a bikini from an influencer's Depop and upon arrival, noticed there was a bad stain inside the bikini in a certain area which is pretty gross if you let your imagination go there. But this girl ended up messaging the influencer and the conversation, some people were just like, what is this? So she sent the influencer a photo of the bikini with the stain saying, I opened it and the bottoms are stained. And the girl said, ugh, yikes, didn't see that. And said, if you just wash it, I'm sure it'll be fine. But if it doesn't come out, then I'll refund you. She said, can I just have a refund? I can send it back to you. I don't want to put it in my washer. And she said, sure. People in the replies were honestly at a loss for words and cracking up replying, Depop or deep poop? How do they not check the most important part? Oh, yikes. Yeah, I don't really know how someone could, um sell something on their Depop and not look at it, but it kind of makes me think maybe someone's assistant was going through all their clothes and was putting all their clothes on their <coughs> Depop. I have no idea who this is, you guys, but that was a thought that I had and they didn't really know, but that just makes them look so bad. And I mean, ugh, like, what is that stain? It wasn't even washed after it was last born. I mean, ugh. and then she just said, wash it like, no. So thank goodness that this person agreed to giving a refund, but obviously now people are trying to guess who the mystery seller is. And I've got some guesses, but let me know who you guys think was the person that sold these poopy bottoms. Now let's get into what in the world is happening between Jeff and David right now. 
Obviously, if you've been keeping up with my videos, then you know that these two are not on good terms. And as of recently, Jeff has expressed that he hasn't been interested in being in the vlog squad or associating with anyone in it because they all have David's back and he feels like they're all brainwashed. He said it multiple times on his podcast that he just does not like anyone because anytime he has something to say about David or how David has treated him or acted in the last year or so since his injury, they're like, well, Jeff, you should give him another chance, like defending him. And he does not want to hear any of that. So he says they're all brainwashed and he's not interested in associating with any of them. So he has stayed within his own friend group, tried to mainly focus on his Jeff's barbershop brand, his podcast, and just do him. Now, before Jeff decided that he was going to cut himself off completely before things got really bad between him and David and they had a lot of back and forth, he did participate in a vlog squad event. Well, it was a Jason Nash event, but I mean, it might as well have been a vlog squad event because they were all there. So Jason started putting on these YouTube roasts. He started with himself and the most recent one has been with Bryce Hall. A bunch of creators were invited to roast Bryce on stage, including Jeff. Now, the thing was that this roast was being sponsored by SeatGeek. And because of that, they had final say in the edit and what would make it into the video that would be uploaded onto Jason's channel. Now, as a brand, they obviously want to make sure that they're sponsoring something that they support and wouldn't want anything crazy controversial or inappropriate in there. Even though I do think that some of the jokes that they approved and left in the roast, I was pretty shocked that they let it slide. But also, I don't understand how as a brand they would agree to do a sponsorship on a roast because roasts are just so I mean they really went there and the things that they said that they had to like cut out and censor sounded really bad so I'm sure when they were actually there SeatGeek was like mm, maybe I'm second guessing this whole thing but I mean they did let things lie that I was surprised about but when the time came for the video to be posted Jeff actually heard word that a few of his jokes were cut and so he was really upset and he said, you know what, just cut my whole entire set. Edit me out completely. If I can't have it all in there, then I don't want to be a part of it. You want to cut one joke, five jokes? I don't give a f Take it them all was. out. I'm no part of it anymore. It's giving Kanye for sure. I understand though. Your set was very um continuous. It's, it's well, so Jason cut him out of the roast and it was kind of weird because Jeff was obviously still on stage and in the intro and stuff but we didn't get to hear him talk. But Jeff blamed David for having been cut out. He said that he made a joke about David and David didn't like it. And since SeatGeek is a really big sponsor with David, he feels like SeatGeek and David like conspire to cut Jeff's jokes. Even though Jason made a video saying they didn't even request to cut that joke, the David joke was left in. It was other jokes that they did not want Jeff to have in there. SeatGeek sponsored this roast. They're a great company. They're a great app. Uh, and more importantly, they're they're just great people to work with. They uh, they really get it. They really made the roast so fun. They came and gave away tickets. There was all kinds of stuff. That's the way it works with brands. Brands, you know, they're paying you. So, you know, they want uh, certain things gone. And the things that they asked to cut, I didn't think were that crazy. One thing I will say, I've seen some comments that David had some hand in cutting Jeff's set. That is not the case. David hasn't even seen the roast. David doesn't watch my videos. We all know that. So... Um, but no, he hasn't even seen it. And in fact, I think Jeff only had one David joke and that joke wasn't cut. That joke is in. But either way, Jeff was like, take my whole set out. I do not want that in there. I've been, um, you know, going back and forth with Jeff and Siki trying to find a compromise uh, as in terms of what jokes he can say. I, uh, I got Jeff to cut two of the jokes, but then there were three more that Jeff uh, wouldn't budge on and he said, I want to pull my set. Now, this past week though, Jeff actually decided to reveal the jokes that he did say during the roast. I believe he put them on his Patreon and so he's blurring out the SeatGeek logo to avoid any issues with them, but I saw clips of it going around on TikTok. Thank you everyone for coming tonight. Thank you to the, the venue for lifting the vaccine mandate so Tana could get in. That was nice of you. Jonah's here tonight, my old friend, my old co-host. That's right. Thank you, Todd. Yeah. Yeah, Jonah left my show to go do some lousy Discovery Channel show. It's called Discovering David Nover. <laughs> the only thing I discovered so far is that David's gay. And the only, the only thing Jonah discovered is that everyone in the vlog squad hates him. Um, 
Taylor Holder was supposed to be here tonight. Oh, 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 or something. Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey. Uh, I haven't had that many jokes to tell you. I was gonna f Hannah for clout, but I changed my mind. It's too risky. Yeah. There's no cure for AIDS. <laughs> what was I thinking? Bryce was a part of a content house of Sway Boys. Um, one day they all just picked up and moved out. <laughs> just like Bryce's dad. <laughs> I think everyone expected these jokes to go a lot harder since some of them were cut out and the reason he was mad and just wanted none of them in there. But I for sure want to know what you guys think about this whole thing, the jokes that he had to say, and also everything else we talked about today. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.